this video, we're going over the absolute best settings here in Modern Warfare 3 Season 3 Reloaded. If you are trying to improve your aim, accuracy, and gun skill, you came to the right place. I have some settings that are going to help out new players that are specifically struggling at taking people out at longer ranges. If that's something that you struggle with, this video is for you. So if that sounds good, feel free, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, let me know down in the comment section, what are your current sensitivity settings you guys are running in game? I have a feeling a lot of settings are about to be changed. <laughs> Alright, so as you guys can see here, I play with an Xbox Elite controller on PC with one paddle on the back set up for jumping. Now, these settings are going to work no matter what controller or console you guys are playing on, so do not worry. For the button layout, we are going to play Tactical. Tactical is the absolute best button layout no matter what controller you guys have because it's going to remap that crouch and prone button allowing you to perform a drop shot by just pressing down on the right thumbstick that's going to be super important because it's going to be giving you the ability to still be aimed down sight and be accurate when doing a drop shot and obviously getting in and out of cover is going to keep you alive a lot longer making nukes a hell of a lot easier to get Everything else under the controller settings are going to be the same. The only thing I have went ahead and adjusted is I've turned off my controller vibration because I personally don't like it. It's going to be throwing off my long range accuracy, and that's where I feel like most people are going to be struggling with. I struggled with it when I first started playing Call of Duty. This is a setting that I shut off and never turned it back on. So if you have vibration turned on, turn it off. You might be like me and never turn it back on. But if you like that more kind of visceral feel and you don't mind being potentially thrown off at longer ranges, it's a game. But at the same time, I think a lot of us would rather have increased accuracy at longer ranges. Dead zone inputs are gonna be specifically dependent on your controller and your controller health. So I'm gonna be skipping over this. Now we're gonna jump right over to the horizontal and vertical stick sensitivity, and we are running on 4-4. Now these are gonna be settings you should run if you are struggling at long range engagements. Anybody can take somebody out at close range. It's long range, people are falling short, and playing on 4-4 is going to guarantee you're gonna see a sudden increase in your accuracy at longer ranges, in turn, allowing you to win more gunfights. Now, what you also want to do here is adjust your ADS sensitivity in multiplayer. It comes default at one. You want to drop this to 0.55, so there is less stick playing in your controller, so you can be as accurate as possible across the map, because again, that's where most people are gonna be falling short. You are gonna have glue on the sticks, running a 4-4, 0.55 ADS sensitivity in multiplayer. Now, we're not gonna stop there because we're also gonna adjust our aim assist response curve type and we are gonna be playing on dynamic. Now, if you are a little bit more experienced, linear is gonna be a good option, but dynamic is gonna be perfect for players who are still getting used to the aim assist mechanics because it's going to slow down the aim rate, allowing you to be more accurate at longer ranges. And that's going to be an absolute W for those of you who, like I said, are struggling with across the map gunfights. So make the switch for 4.55 and dynamic if you are not running this already. As you guys can see here, everything else is going to be the same, but for the aim assist type, Focusing is also going to be a good option. This is going to be strongly slowing down the aim assist in these longer range gunfights so you could be a little bit more accurate. Now, Black Ops is also a good setting to use as well, but if you want to have maximum stability and also the max aim assist pull, focusing is going to be a good option to run, again, if you are struggling with those long range engagements, because that's what most people are going to be struggling at. Like I said, anybody can take somebody out at close range by hip firing. It's across the map engagements where people I see, especially in some of the kill cams, they're all over the place. When I watch some subscribers' gameplays or anybody's gameplay on YouTube that they send me saying, hey, what do I need help with improving? This is something I see. The gunfights at longer ranges, they're all over the place. This is going to be helping you out tenfold. So focusing, you want to play on dynamic aim response curve type. And you also want to adjust your ADS sensitivity multiplayer to 0.55 in your vertical and horizontal to 4.4. These are going to be absolutely crucial if you want to have any chance 
at improving your aim actually and gun skill at longer ranges everything else here is going to be pretty much the same i've not made any adjustments under the aiming settings now we're going to go over to gameplay i have automatic tactical sprint turned on this is personal preference you don't have to have this enabled but if you want to be able to move around the map a little bit more fluently this is going to be a nice option because you can automatically tactical sprint which makes running and gunning a lot easier and let's be honest here it's call of duty if you all want to run and gun nobody wants to sit behind you know cover in the back of the spawn all game it's just not how this game was you know made to be played so automatic tactical sprint is going to be a nice choice everything else here is going to be the same i've not made any adjustments so make sure you guys go ahead and adjust your aim as well as gameplay settings for the better and there are also some controller settings like i said that you want to make sure you guys are running tactical is going to be crucial and obviously you want to adjust your vibration if you want to feel if the vibration is potentially throwing off your aim and accuracy at those longer ranges and by the way if you need help leveling up your weapons but don't have enough time to play brown magician is your solution from unlocking all your attachments to getting gilded and interstellar camo they offer legit services on modern for two as well as three check them out down in the description under the graphic settings something you definitely want to adjust is your fov now you want to play between the 100 and the 120 fov window I like 120. I've been playing on 120 for years ever since they added the slider. And it's going to give you a broader picture. And also, when you couple it with the affected ADS field of view, sometime when you boot up the game, it's going to default at independent. You want to switch this immediately because it's going to directly represent your FOV when you are aimed down sight with an iron sight or whatever optic you are using. This is going to give you less visual recoil, making controlling weapons at longer range ranges a hell of a lot easier if you're ever wondering why i always preach running the jack glassless on high recoil weapons this is why because that couple with affected is literally going to be like glue on the sticks they also add the jack glasses for players who don't like to run affected and want to run independent so they can also experience that less visual recoil but let's go ahead and combine those two and be as accurate as possible at those longer ranges and that's exactly why i recommend running the 100 to 120 fov window with the affected ads field of view it is unbelievable the rest of these settings are going to be pretty much standard i highly 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 i cannot stress this enough turn off world motion blur as well as weapon motion blur as well as film grain these are going to put a distortion on your screen, making your gameplay look fuzzy and hazy and overall virtually impossible to see people in darker corners. And obviously, because unfortunately, people do sit in corners on this game, dark corners, you want to have the ability to see them before they take you out. So make sure you guys have all these turned off. These are some of the worst settings you can have enabled in game. And once you turn them off, you're gonna see an immediate, like a snap of a finger improvement once you go ahead and make these adjustments everything else here is gonna be default i've not changed it because it's not really anything important but make sure you guys go ahead and adjust these settings a s a p it's imperative now don't sleep on audio settings they don't call me ears for nothing the audio mix headphones bass boost is very important if you have any and i really do mean any type of headset you've bought in the last seven years it's going to allow you to hear footsteps and gunfire a lot easier and you can pinpoint where people are at on the map without the use of a uav this is how i'm able to kind of determine if somebody's coming around a corner or if i hear somebody behind me it's because i'm rocking headphones bass booster this is very important if you want to enhance your gameplay Everything else here is going to be the same. I have everything cranked up except the voice chat because sometimes people come on the game and they have, you know, the microwave going on, the vacuum running, the TV in the background. I don't need to hear all that. And I also sometimes go ahead and have my mic muted off rip just so I don't disturb other people's gameplays. But under the audio setting, that's pretty much all I have done. I make sure that I have headphones bass boosted and I also make sure that the gameplay is cranked all the way up man it's definitely going to be a huge help for hearing footsteps gunfire and figuring out where people are at and finally for the interface settings make sure this is super important your mini map is set to square and not round if i ever catch anybody running round whew, you're gonna have another thing coming man square is gonna be a lot easier to not only see where people are at but you're also getting a bigger mini map picture so there is 
absolutely no reason that you should be running round sometimes the game does default you to round make sure you guys make this switch immediately you're gonna see a massive and i mean a massive improvement at your gameplay just by making this switch i love that about call of duty some of these settings you don't really have to even know what you're doing you just make the switch and you're gonna see a dramatic improvement in your gameplay everything else here is gonna be pretty much the same i've not made any changes under the interface settings besides that because it truly is going to be super important but these are going to be the absolute best settings you guys should be rocking here in the season three reloaded update man if you guys take anything from this video 44 sensitivity 0.55 dynamic as well as going ahead and trying focusing you're gonna have glue on the sticks and become a better player overnight if you guys enjoyed the video feel free drop a like in the vid subscribe to the channel because post notifications and let me down in the comment section if these settings do help you guys out i hope they do and actually i think they will as well so catch you guys in the next one man deuces